Hey, this is my vintage 1984 um, Sears and Roebuck SR2100 series boombox. Back in the day, we called them ghetto blasters. I bought this in the summer of 1984, of course, from Sears and Roebuck store in Tallahassee, Florida. And I'm pretty sure I paid somewhere around $250 for it. Um, at the time, my dad put it on his Sears and Roebuck credit card, and I had a summer job, and as soon as the bill came in, I knew I was supposed to have the money ready to pay for it. But as you can see, it's still pretty nice. Uh, I've had it at my house, my mom and dad's house, since I left there in 1986. We went home a couple of weeks ago, and I just decided to bring it home with me. As you can see, that right handle is broken. The uh, right channel only works about maybe 25%. I don't know if you can really see it, but the needle isn't moving at all on that right channel. But if I turn the balance over to the right, you can barely hear it coming out of that speaker, and I would like to kind of know how to fix that. Also, the cassette tape doesn't work anymore, and as you can see, the knob that changes from FM to AM to SW1 and SW2 is missing. But uh, other than that, it's still a excellent box, excellent ghetto blaster. I used to carry it around at school. Um, my favorite group at the time was Rat, and I always played the album round and round on it. At my school, the people that had the biggest boombox kind of, of course, controlled the music that was played during, you know, lunch hour and things of that nature. But uh, like I said, it was my goal to find the biggest boombox I could. And, uh, of course, I was able to do that going to Sears. And then plus, of course, having my dad put it on his uh, credit card to buy it. Like I said, it still has a real good sound to it. And that's just the right channel. I mean, that's just the left channel working. It's still real nice. I've been kind of listening to it outside today as I've been grilling. I kind of show you the back. This is uh, model number 560-219950. Like I said, it was the top of the line back when I bought it. There you see all the ins and outputs that it has. And then there's another, I think that was for speakers, external speakers, if I'm thinking right. This is for the other external speakers. If you look at the back here, the back is still relatively nice. You know, I still have the um, the cover for the batteries. And it's very, very nice. My um, antenna, I had to replace it even while I was still home in high school. Somehow, you, you might remember with these antennas, if you pushed them the wrong way, they would bend and break. So it's not the original antenna. But it's still a real nice boom box. Nice ghetto blast. I, I used to carry it to work with me and uh, use it as well. It's real, real nice.